welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about managing your reasonable accommodation request. Within the property management industry, it is imperative to understand and appropriately handle requests for reasonable accommodations. This is especially true for individuals with disabilities who are exercising their legal rights. Whether it's a tenant seeking uh, rent reminders due to, due to a mental disability, or requesting reserved accessible parking for mobility related challenges, or making other reasonable demands to facilitate living arrangements, landlords and property managers need to handle these situations carefully. One of the most common and legally mandated accommodation requests pertains to service animals, companion animals, or emotional support animals. So let's discuss assistance animal requests and how to handle them. The solicitation of an ESA is a valid request from a tenant. Even in properties with a strict no pet policy, once the animal is verified, property managers are obligated to approve the request. This is because individuals with disabilities are protected under fair housing laws, whereas regular pet owners do not fall under any protected class. Additionally, property managers cannot impose additional fees, rents, or deposits on tenants making any type of, su any type of support animal request. However, the tenants do remain accountable for any damages caused by their animals. Now let's discuss a request for reasonable modifications to a property. Beyond accommodation requests, individual, individuals with disabilities have the right to request reasonable modifications to the physical property itself. This is different from, a, from an accommodation because modifications involve actual changes to the property rather than simply adjust, adjustments to the rules of the property. Property managers are required to allow all reasonable modifications with the tenant being responsible for three things. The first being finance the modification, second, ensure compliance with city codes and property standards, and then third, restore the property to its original condition upon departure. For instance, a tenant may request a modification to add a wheelchair ramp to a property. When doing so, once installed, the ramp must adhere to city code and be structurally sound. So how should you handle these requests? When confronted with requests for reasonable accommodations or modifications, you'll want to streamline the process. This can easily be done by having tenants fill out a formal request form. Then once you've had the chance to review the form, you can make approvals by ensuring all legal requirements are met by both you and the tenants. Now, understanding and navigating reasonable accommodation requests is essential to effective property management. Property managers and rental housing operators play a vital role in fostering inclusive housing environments that uphold the rights of individuals with disabilities. We all contribute to an honest and accessible housing market for everyone by, by adhering to fair housing laws and promptly processing requests for reasonable accommodations and modifications. If you would like help in this area and need help with handling reasonable accommodation requests, feel free to contact us here at NV Property Management. You can reach us by visiting our website at nvpm.com or calling us at 801-337-4337. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. Thank you.